Okay, for number five, this involves uh, lines, and so this question asks you to fill in this information, and then they also want you to graph this one. The equation that they're referring to is they want you to write this in slope-intercept form. So that's y equals mx plus b. So when you have this one, what you want to do is basically just solve for y and make sure the x term comes first. And when you do, you'll automatically have it in slope-intercept form. So let's start by doing that. So here is our original equation. What I'm going to do is I need to, oh, I want to leave the y on one side of the equation. So I'm, I want to move over the 3x from both sides. Now remember, when this 3x goes away, that negative still has to remain there with the 2. That's a common mistake I see is people drop the negative sign, but you want to keep it in this case. Okay, now on the other side of the equation, I'm going to put the x term first because that's y equals mx plus b form that has to go first there. And then we need to solve for y. So I want to divide everything by negative 2. So notice that all three terms are being divided by negative 2 because that's the number in front of the y. Okay, so I have y equals... I have negative over negative is going to give you a positive. So I have a 3 halves x, and then negative 6, negative 2 will give you a plus 3. So this is my final answer as far as slope-intercept form. This is 3 halves x plus 3. So that's, that's the equation that they want. And that's the one that we're eventually going to graph. Okay, now next is slope. Slope, because you have it in y equals mx plus b form, we know the slope is always going to be the number in front of the x. Now your slope is always a number. So another common mistake that I see with this one is people will put an x next to it. That's incorrect. Okay, The slope is only the number in front of the x. It does not include the x term. So make sure you just put a number only on that one. And then for x-intercept and y-intercept, okay, since it is slope-intercept form, what we know automatically by putting it into that form is we know the y-intercept. That's always a number that comes after the x. So we don't have to solve for that one algebraically because we just look at the equation itself. Okay, so now the x-intercept, we've got to find that one algebraically. So for this one, x-intercept, you're going to put in a 0 for y. Now I could use this equation right here and put a 0 in for y there, but with the fraction, I think it's going to be easier if we use the original one in this case. So I have 3x minus 2 times 0 equals negative 6. And then 0, 2 times 0 is 0. So we get 3x equals negative 6. Divide both sides by 3. And we get x is equal to negative 2. So now we know what the x intercept is going to be. Now that we have all this information complete, the last thing that we're going to do is uh, graph it. Now for this one, you can graph it using whatever method that you choose. Okay, So we can either use the slope and the y-intercept to graph it, or we can actually just plot our intercepts. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the intercepts here. So now I have negative 2, and I have positive 3, and that's going to give me two points on my line. Now suppose, besides this, we decided to just use the original one and use graph by using the y-intercept and the slope. Okay, we can do that also. Uh, so just to show you that you'll, you'll get all different points and they all form the same line. So let's suppose I use this one. First thing I would do is plot 3, which I already have there. And then the top number is the, the amount that I move up. And the bottom number is the amount that I'm going to move uh, to the right. So if the top number is negative, I would go down. But since it's positive, I'm going to go up. If the bottom number is negative, you would go to the left positive, you would go to the right. In this case, it's positive. So from here, I'm going to go up 3 and 2 over to the right. So notice I get another point. It's on the same line, so that's why it doesn't really matter which method that you use here. So let me go ahead and draw this in, and your graph would look uh, something like this. So you can either, again, you can either plot the intercepts or you can use the uh, slope-intercept equation. Either way, it's, you're more comfortable with.